I'm still waiting on Reinhardt to hear about all that's going on and what his response is going to be. Let's do it. Asking this man to sacrifice himself, bro.
Bruh. They really rebelling out here, bro. They keep asking this guy to to literally asking him to sacrifice himself so that there isn't a war. So they want to take, they've always wanted to take him out. along with it buddy you in this you in this car seat now <laughs>
<laughs> but is he though? <laughs> Bruh. Rosen with the said, fuck that. We <laughs> they said fuck that. We we need Yang alive. In some ways, you know, what the Empire was hoping for is exactly what's happening.
Bruh. <laughs> Yo. No. Okay, going to Broadway. I was actually just thinking that why doesn't someone just come in here and just bust? <laughs> Yang doesn't seem phased at all. He dodged. Who got him? Yo, Frederickus <laughs> Clutch.
Half a nikata. Bruh. Thank God. Frederick could save them. Save them. Because I was thinking, you know, as I was sitting here watching, I was like, why don't somebody just go in there and just kill him? You know what I'm saying? And then it happened. So I was like, I'm not going to say nothing. <laughs> I was like, that would be my plan. It's just like, y'all have him in, in y'all possession. If the, the case is you know, kill Yang so that y'all don't have to deal with the issues, but they're also worried about the Prime Minister. Just kill Yang. If, the, you know, Prime Minister, in the grand scheme of things, the Prime Minister doesn't matter. That's what I was thinking in my head. You know what I'm saying? What if somebody just came in and just killed Yang? But, hey, let's get to the next one. Is it the there's a sound I'm wondering if it's coming from the video or so I'm hearing a sound that's weird hold on I think it's coming from the video Yeah, there's like, there's like this clicking that's happening. I don't know if you guys are hearing it. It's like there's a clicking happening in the actual video. I thought it was coming from outside the door. If you pull it back, you'll hear it again. It's like, it does it two times. It's like click, 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 click. It's weird because I stopped the video and started it over again because I thought somebody was outside the door just now. There it goes again. It's a video. It's weird. <laughs>。君は以前から私を消しかけてきたな。権力を私の手で掴むべきだ。もし権力を握ったとしてその後で私の人格が一変したらどうする。
歴史は繰り返し単なる歴史年表上の人物が一人で個性の受験生の頭痛の種に加わるだけでしょうまあとやかく味をうんぬんする前に食べてみたらどうです子供の好き嫌いじゃあるまいし支援国中将の言う通りですよジャンペンあなたには少なくともあなたを救出するために戦った連中に応える責任がありますもはや同盟政府に何の借りもないでしょう自分の財布で勝負に出る時ですよ脅迫としか聞こえないがね大体いい君たちは楽観的すぎる帝国と同盟を両方とも敵に回して生き残れると思っているところがどしがたい明日は霊柩車に乗っているかもしれんのにまあそれもいいでしょう不老不死でいられるわけではないしどうせ死ぬのだったら納得して死にたい帝国の奴隷のそのまた奴隷として死ぬより反逆者ヤン提督の幕僚として死ぬ方を少なくとも私の子孫は喜ぶでしょうよ<笑> Why don't you go die in a hill by yourself? How about that? It just makes arbitrary decisions and just be like, oh, yes, this is what I want to do. But, bro, probably that's not what I want to do. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, throw away my life for no reason. I'd rather die your associate than die under imperial rule. <laughs> All right, bro. Gotta stand for something, man. Bro, I'm just, I just got here. What do you mean?
気なのは無論悪の指定。つまり、連年間を人質とする提案に賛成いただけるのですか。という次第だ。戦国中将、実戦式は君に一任する。一任されましょう。せっせ。で、私はいつ自由を回復できるのだね。不幸な連年間不死
Well, I kind of just saw you. Yeah, let's not do that in tactics. Just run in. <laughs> Who makes those kind of sounds? <laughs> Yang. Prime Minister too. Mm-hmm. 
you lost again to the magician. Damn. And man, it's like that rope looking real good right now. They right outside the door. They don't hear nothing. Gotta be kidding me. Them guards are outside. Don't even hear a damn thing. They ain't hear nothing. Did they save him in time? Or is he dead? Yeah, I left the rope in there. Make him look alive? Alright. <laughs> そのこの時、ヤンは思った。不本意な死に方を強いられることと、不本意な生き方を強制されることと、どちらがまだしも幸福に近いと言えるのだろうかと。翌24日、シセル連連艦砲を人質にしたヤンウェンリー一党は、軍事
It's crazy, man. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. This is crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. I didn't think we would end up here, to be honest. I really didn't think that we would end up here. I really didn't think we would end up here. You know? It's crazy, man. I really didn't think we would end up here. As my green screen decides to do whatever it is it's doing over there <laughs> um yeah it, it's i didn't think that we would end up here i'm gonna be honest man like this is an unexpected turn in the series i didn't see coming I couldn't even predict this even if I wanted to. You know? I couldn't even predict this even if I wanted to, man. This this is kind of nuts. Because what is this? 61 and 62? Yeah. Um Yang, you know, realizing that he'll be used as a scapegoat. Ah oh, man. They basically tried to take Yang out and it didn't work. Obviously why it didn't work. Right? So basically they, you know, Shank up went out and, you know, got Rose and Ritter back together and launched basically a full rebellion against the alliance. You know? Of course, we know Rose and Ritter. Rose and Ritter are like, they're like operatives, man. They're, they're like black ops operatives. You know what I'm saying? Just, you send them niggas in to do special, special stuff, right? So from me just watching this and seeing what takes place and how we ended up where we are right now, um, you know, they went out, they, they got the prime minister, um, captured him. And they decide to, the Alliance decided, ah, we don't really need the Prime Minister, so we just gonna kill Yang, and get it over with, right? Kill him early. Um, of course, we had, you know, they came in, save Yang, whatever. Yang realizing what's going on now, he decides that, you know, you know, what am I gonna do now? I'm putting this place, I'm in this space right now where, you know, it's either I'm going to deal with these people or I'm going to be dealing with pe these people. So, he was put in a very tough position, right? That's just my opinion. He, Yang was put in a very tough position 
that places him in in the orbit of where do i go next like what do i do now should i rebel you know because the alliance wants to kill me to avoid intervention from the empire i'm basically left out here you know what i'm saying with no way to nowhere to turn but to protect myself defend myself and of course situation got out of hand this is crazy you know yang tried to talk to the prime minister you know have a talk with him and, and whatnot and just the stuff that they were talking about in in the last episode right just in this episode just the stuff that they were talking about i'm just like yang really doesn't have a choice at this point um had any kind of forced the prime minister's hand as well to kind of give up Lenin camp you know where he is blah blah, blah and all this other stuff so they can get to him and of course they went and got him kidnapping Lenin camp Lenin camp saw that he was lost the minute he saw that the prime minister sold him out he's like i'm out bro and he killed himself <laughs> he <laughs> I guess he was he, he, he was basically too ashamed to live and I'm just relaxing talking right now you know this 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 is the type of the, the type of thing that I that I look at when I'm watching the show and I'm just like what's going on in these people's head man it, it's just like how they come to how they come to the decisions they make it's just so interesting you know so they had to trick them to get out you know by making it seem like Lenin camp was still alive um of course Kazumu decided to jump ship as well um to join yang because he believes that yang won't survive without him this is a tough situation for for yang for you know for everybody now where are they heading where are they going earth i think that would be their best bet but at the same time it's you know having this looming shadow over you now of course with all this happening once this gets back to reinhardt and he finds out what's been happening that yang escaped they don't know where he is like what is his response going to be i don't think it's going to be positive i think some people are going to get fired or <laughs> killed because i'm wondering i don't think this is what oberstein wanted to happen but it isn't what happening <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah man pretty cool i'm gonna continue with my binging <laughs> great stuff man this series really makes you you know especially in you know with what's going on right now between russia and ukraine like it's it's really just what 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 goes through people's minds or these leaders minds when they decide to do something like infiltrate another country you know what i'm saying like how are those citizens supposed to respond to that i've heard people say you know they're killing civilians and stuff like that um you know you've heard his report and all this other stuff i've heard people say oh it's a strategic thing that they're doing you know what i'm saying like every time they meet resistance they you know they back up you know retreat a little bit and 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 like surround you know what i'm saying surround. It, it's it's weird because you're hearing different stories because you're not there i'm not there to know what's really going on in you in ukraine like i'm not there so you're basically depending on the news to tell you what's really happening over there and you you still don't really know you know what i'm saying um this is crazy i mean This show is on point, man. It's on point. And I can understand why people consider this one of the best animes ever. Because it's just the story is just so it's just so awesome. Even though these last two episodes kind of caught me off guard because I didn't think we were gonna end up here. I thought that now you're forcing Yang, one of the smartest minds, to be a, to be against the Empire because of their stupid decisions to try to decide to kill him because oh he's gonna cause an uprising and 
when this man all this man wants to do is just chill bro <laughs> like this man just wants to chill and they just keep provoking him into you know i have to exercise this this arm um, this demon that he has inside of him if you will that's just will you know it in the the realm of possibilities to actually take over you know what i'm saying like he's that kind of leader he has the influence to do these things this man just wanted to chill he didn't want to have to do any of that or you know before his store even he didn't want to do none of that he just wanted to chill you know maybe not have as much surveillance and stuff on him but i think that would have dwindled down over time it's just that as the empire i understand why they need to be careful with yang you know what i'm saying but at the same time it's just like bruh get off me you know what i'm saying but i get it man the way how this series is written is just it's unbelievable and i'm not gonna sit here and and, and say you know what i'm saying i'm not enjoying what i'm watching and i've never said i'm not enjoying you know what i'm watching it's just when you watch something like this and knowing what's going on in the world right now it just it's just like when is when is this going to end when are people just going to chill man just chill life is precious man why we got to exercise power so much especially if you have the power why do you have to show it like that you know what i'm saying i don't know man i'm just thinking out loud anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in i'll see you guys for the next couple episodes peace